but it's advantage again to Wales, so it's a free play, and George Back North has the ball in hand, and he has the pace. Oh, does he have the pace? It's round four of the Guinness Six Nations. It's Italy against Wales, and Wales Thank dream you. of a championship. They dream of potentially a grand slam. Wales, though, 11 phases, and the difference is they're beginning to get a little bit of ground in the carries, and they're sucking in Italian defenders. Had a man over it, but had a man over it illegally, and Wales not hanging around. They're going to take it quickly, Gareth Davison takes it, the Italians not back the required distance is another advantage and now there's going to be a yellow card and this is the worst possible start to this match for the Italians. Not ten fellas, he tackled him after about five metres, negative play. Shoulder! What you might describe as the perfect platform for Wales, six maybe seven metres away from the Italian line. Look at the way those backs are lined. Set. Going to keep the Italian set. defense guessing, and it's a defense that is down a player. Both together. There for Davis, and then to Jonathan Davis, who skipped, and out it comes. And there's an opportunity out wide, and Wales have their first try of the afternoon. Josh Adams over in the corner. Oh, so simple, but so well executed. That's exposing exactly the space that was left when Monte Ioanni left the field. Brilliant from Wales. Well, about a meter inside. Great then. ball from Dan Bigger. It just means that that Italian defence has to really over chase. Watch on. Here's Ken Owens. Hold. hold Front of the line out is hold. Alan Wynne Jones yes, and the mall. And around the narrow of the two sides, Wales attempts to go. Italy get bodies there and deal with the first wave of the Advantage, Welsh mall. Penalty. And, well, three collapsing players. Three is penalised for the Italians, so it's a free play for the Welsh. And out wide, once again, is Adamson. Across come three, four Italian players, but that doesn't mean they're going to be able to stop him. And he's now just, what, two metres short of the Italian line. There's another infringement. The Italians are all over the place defensively. And there's another opportunity here for Wales, surely, to force home that advantage. Wynne Jones stopped in his tracks. Gareth Davis, it's slower ball. Navidi is skipped and it goes from Liam Williams to Jonathan Davis and they have numbers. Can they finish it? Falatau! It's another try for Wales. And they make the numerical advantage count and don't they do it oh so well. Brilliant from Wales. Absolutely brilliant. How many times do we see teams not use that advantage to their advantage? What, what really stopped, tried to stretch the play, the and then it's simple, isn't it? Really, and then just the end. six meters short of the Italian Ten. line. Ken Owens and the Welsh line out go to just yes. Tipperick, and then to that more. And they this time vary it by going on the more open side. Go, and Owens has it seven, in his hands, and they're away. And Owens drives for the line, and Ken Owens has Wales' third try. The first quarter of the game is barely complete, and it's try number three for Wales. Yeah, I'm just completely mixing it up, too, the Welsh. Set up, so. Can score tries on the width, but now really testing Italy up front. 100% from the line out from Owens and Wales so far, and it continues as Hill rises yes. high, claims the ball, and they go that to the mall. And there's no surprise there. Owens. Next time just digs stopped, in for a second go to try and get Wales moving 20. forward, and they are moving forward. If slower than the last couple, away, Owens away. breaks away and then drives the legs. And has he got there? I think he has. Well, he was just never beaten, Ken Owens. That mall was not as good as we've seen from Wales in the opening half hour, and it looked like Italy have dealt with it. But Ken Owens just drove the legs again. Game of inches, isn't it? Rugby is a game of inches. Bind. A scrum in the middle of the field. Set. And they've had these opportunities. Well, their execution, by and large, has been right out of the top drawer. Let's see what happens here. Slower advantage. ball for Gareth Davis than he was expecting, but it's advantage again to Wales. So it's a free play. And George Back North has the ball in hand, and he has the pace. Oh, does he have the pace? <laughs> North gets the try at the start of the second half. That and Italy are absolutely broken. But brilliant from Jonathan Davis. Such a class Three. outfit, whether he's playing 13 or 12. Today we see him in the inside centre shirt. Okay, well, it's his midfield partner that's the beneficiary. 
one falls out. And the Italians Make the get a dirty ball, but at least they get the ball, uh, Varney. And God, BC will go back in the direction that they came. Monte Ioani, little bit of room. Mayer shrugs off the first attempt to tackle of Gareth Davis and a bit of forward momentum around the corner comes Fischetti, who's had advantage. a couple of moments in the last minute or two. It's advantage for Italy. And an opportunity to free play. What about that? Monte Ioani! Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Man, he's got to come off the ball, please, man. That was all about individual excellence. Excellent from Monte Iwani. Playing advantage. Brilliant chip. And when it's that close to the line, any sort of bounce, control of the ball. A wonderful piece of individual skill. for Lloyd Williams and Alaholo in midfield and around comes Sheedy and then Williams and then back into Reese Salmon and that is beautifully done. Wonderful try. Josh Adams gets his second of the afternoon. Just checking Tom, on we've got a grounding, we're just making sure. And there Barnsley, the white boot, so he's um, he's actually touch in goal. No try, his knees out. No try. The ball's up, Alan Wynn. He doesn't get the ball down until his knee is on the floor. You're kidding me, says the face of Josh Stop, Adams. Please. Yeah. Lloyd Williams, and now Jake Ball on the Davis 50th international cap, but just couldn't get going there. Navidi, strong carry from Josh Navidi, and now it's out to Halo Hall, and it's really hard to drag him down. Tapuric had a little go. Lloyd Williams, Navidi, great hands. In they go again. Sheedy scores. And Wales have another try. And this one is going to count. Brilliant again from Navidi. His ability to get I'm the ball sorry, on, away under that. pressure. I still think they made a tackle. Creates so many opportunities for this Welsh team. Look at this. Easy for him to take it into contact into a much smaller defender. In Stephen Varney, sees the opportunity, quick two on one. Callum Sheedy scampers in. Wales up. Very disciplined in defence. Watch their men, no real momentum gain from these carries from the Italians, despite the mammoth effort from Negri time after time. CC and Banda almost got in each other's way. Still there for Italy. Kana. And it's handed off, and if you hand it off like that, you're going to get punished. And away goes the young man. It's Rhys Zamet, and he goes from first to fifth gear and blows the defence away. Was there any doubt he was going to get there? Absolutely none. Maybe that was the last roll of the dice. It was the last roll of the dice for the Italians to get a second try in the afternoon. It will not be, and it's Wales who fire it to touch on 80 minutes. And they embrace and they hug and they know the job is done. And they march on to Paris with four from four and the opportunity for many of the most unlikely of Grand Slam tilts. Seven tries on the day in an utterly dominant performance. The final score at the Stadio Olimpico, Italy seven, Wales 48.